Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to another episode of This Is My Offer. Uh, my name is Dr. Nagi Setu. I'm the Principal Industry Specialist leading monetization for AWS Professional Services. I also look after advertising transformation and data science. And today we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic about data-driven data monetization with our partner, Greg Jarvis, who is the Managing Director of Tech Systems. Hi, Greg. Nice to have you here. I know. Thank you. So, yeah, Tech Systems, just so everyone knows, Tech Systems is a global systems integrator and professional services company. Uh, we provide services for over 80% of the Fortune 500 uh, and multiple media and entertainment companies. My role is very specific to the industry. So I am dedicated to media and entertainment industry and have worked here for, for many years. Um, and Tech Systems is a premier partner of AWS and one of the first to get a media and entertainment competency batch. And we provide a lot of data-driven solutions and specifically in monetization and in ad tech um, that we work with AWS uh, to help build and deploy for our customers. And you know, specifically today to talk a bit more about what those solutions, what that solution is and really data-driven um, um, use in the industry today so there is a lot lots happening in this industry greg as you know there is especially when it comes to monetization uh, you know a lot is happening on the both on the advertising side and as well as on the marketing side but if you kind of double click on the advertising transformation the world is kind of moving towards a, a you a cross-platform world as you kind of call it where the linear and digital is converging the linear still holds majority of the advertising dollars, but digital is growing at a at a pretty phenomenal pace. But most of the publishers, as well as the agencies, have to deal with multitude of systems which don't interoperate. So what are your thoughts? What are you seeing in this market? I would love to hear your perspective about that. Yeah, no, a a absolutely. And, you know, and this has been going on, you know, since, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll call it the last five years. The the ability for um, AWS to provide the services in the data platforms in an affordable manner that have the speed to be able to deploy into you know, such a big market as um, all the, all the uh, monetization within media. And what that means is there's significant amount of data that's available. You have first party data, right? Audience data, um, what is it, what comes from your content and what can be attributed to anything that comes um, from different ads that are that are brought up. And then you have third party data, right? From the different data sources that are available today from many different providers that that provide, you know, statistics and analytics for how the ads run and how different monetization things run. And then on the other side, you have many different use cases. Once that data is pulled together, that can be um, used to drive better monetization within the platforms. So specifically today, we're going to talk about, you know, ad tech on the unification of the different ad sales platforms and, you know, different attribution that can be used in, you know, in targeting and personalizing experiences. All of that comes together in what we call an advanced data hub. And so now we have the data, we have it cleaned and we have the ability to pull that in. The real magic here, is in the data science. The data science allows our scientists to be able to go in and tune algorithms and tune things specific to customers that give them the results that helps them drive their, their media um, buys and sells. So Greg, I'm sure you know this, there are several approaches to solve this problem. And especially when it comes to unification, uh, these data have legacy issues. Some of them are new you know, right from the way the pipelines are ingested to the algorithms that needs to be generated. So what approach are you taking to solve this problem? Well, the, the approach that we take is in a multiple phase process. And in that process, first we're bringing in the data and cleaning it. There's so many different sources of data out there today that are in multiple different places. There's different companies have acquired different brands and or they're bringing their brands together and over the years have built up their own platforms. 
So the data can come, again, in the first part, kind of the disparate data systems that come together um, that you own, right? Which is in, you know, the, the you could come from set-top boxes, right? Come from subscriber data, from different market data that you have. And then on the, on the other side, you have platforms, the systems that exist today. And those platforms have been up and running and, 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 and doing their thing um, for many years, obviously. So we start with bringing those together. So those culminate in what is the disparate data sources kind of in our overall target platform, right? So we phase it in, we bring in the data and we get the most value out of it from the beginning. And as the, the different data science and the different tuning algorithms come in, you find more use cases for different phases as you pull that out, right? So there's there's different monetary sources, there's different currencies that are used, uh, there's different ways to present to um, to the ad sales person to be able to um, use this data for proposals, for instance, and how things get targeted, for instance, and then attribution back to how it's been done. So we start with the first phase of bringing the the systems and the data together, clean it, and then start to build on the use cases that have the most value first. The, the, the things that are the most interesting today, you know, that I see is speed is the first value. The ability to react and go, um, you know, turn around a proposal and the automation to do that, the automation to get the ad delivered to do that. That's it's a big value for the buck, right? And that's efficiency, right? And then increasing in the revenue is being able to have different currencies to offer that bring together linear and digital. Because what you have is you have limited spots in linear and you have unlimited spots in digital. So how do we pull those together? And how do we allow for an ad buy to, uh, to be sold under one proposal? That's where the, you know, the ultimate goal comes from. And you know, what is really quite exciting now is the ability for the ad sales person to be able to, to be more self-serve and, and to use things like generative BI is, is one of the things that are, that are you know, a, a very important topic today. So using natural language for a non-technical person to be able to analyze and see trends and see previous costs is a huge value in the efficiency, but also in the ability to react to new ad sales. Excellent, because I love the fact that you also brought in generative AI, which is the flavor of the day. And uh, it is really helping our customers to reimagine the, especially the ad, ad, advertising operations across the publishing you know, organizations. And uh, I see this as, as an industry problem. And that's where, you know, uh, thank you for your support as a, as a partner for creating the transformation vision and also helping implementing that as well. So I think we, AWS and tech work together for, on multiple areas and different solutions. I'd love you to kind of, you know, end by talking about how your experience has been, how can somebody find you about like more information and, you know, as your experience overall as being an AWS yeah, partner. Absolutely, thank you, Nagi. And yes, we work very closely with AWS and AWS ProServe, these solutions um, take a lot of energy and they're, they're, they're new, right? They're added on to what companies currently have. It's very important to business that these are done right. And so collectively, we're able to kind of phase these projects in, um, get the most bang for the buck at the beginning. But when the, the, the spirit goes out that, you know, a, a, a self-serve, um, platform for small media business, right? For being, for ad buying, right? These are the things that help generate business. And by having these platforms in place, you're able to provide that offer to the customers. And those use cases continue to get built out and in a, in a semi custom manner that collectively um, we can continue to, to, to build on and, and, and build on together. So, you know, it's a very exciting time. Um, the, 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 the gener generative BI uh, is something that, that I'm very excited about, you know, putting the power into the users, um, the end user's hand, the actual salesperson's hand, the executive's hands. These are very exciting things to do um, that, you know, really just elevate 
um, the whole process. And from there, what we're going to see in the industry, um, you know, this year and years to come, I think is still to be determined because these are new things that are being deployed. So yes, thank you for allowing me to, uh, to take the time to talk about it. Um, at Tech Systems, we are uh, on the, um, the AWS Partner Network, um, and of course, techsystems.com, um, where we have a media and entertainment specific site uh, to be able to learn more and to get in touch with us. Thank you once again, Greg. Uh, exciting times ahead, lot to innovate together, and thank you for this partnership.